Okay, so these are our main agendas. So in the starting, I will present few cases, and later on we are going to the details of fractures and their possibilities with our management. Okay, so the fracture itself is a big topic. I will be little uh, fast in the presentations, and whenever you feel any doubt, please convey at the time or at the end of the uh, presentations. Okay, so the Shalendra and Ayurveda and scope of fracture itself fracture management here i in ayurveda ashtangas chalendra is the first one and this is the orthopedic conditions in today's process, soft tissue injuries like ligamental injuries sprains muscle injuries and many chronic injuries related to orthopedics are there but we are today confining only to the fracture and their management okay so coming to the first case this fellow of 50th May, he came from a local uh, area called Mukkam and uh, he presented with a left shoulder restriction of movements and pain and he also presented with left sided chest pain since one week and left foot pain. Okay, on history he had an RTA and on inspection we seen the reddish discoloration and abrasions of the left shoulder. On palpation we found the tenderness over left cavity and on the left side of the chest in the rib region and movements are restricted so we sent for an x-ray x-ray left shoulder joint ap view clavicle and uh, chest ap view and a oblique view okay so in the x-ray we found that there is a fracture of clavicle and in chest x-ray we found that there is a fracture of 8 9 10 10 rib so you can see in the X-ray fracture of the clavicle. Okay. And the treatment modality we offered here is left shoulder bandage with Murivana Sostika Bandham and with a clavicle brace to balance the clavicle. Here we are we were not doing any reduction since the one month of two and a half months of injury, you can see the callus formation. And uh, our diagnosis here was left clavicle fracture and rib fracture. And we made sure that there is no injury to the chest. Then only we took the case. Okay. And he also had an angle sprain. So, clavicle bone importance, which we can be treated conservatively very well. And it heals in any position and it won't cause any harm. If there is multiple fracture and if the person need a cosmetic need or the purpose is cosmetic, then you should send for a ORIF, open reduction. And uh, since he, our patient was unfit for surgery, he came to us. And we have a tremendous activity of our medicines and our bandages for treating in fractures. Okay. And it also reduces the stiffness and it will regain the range of motion. You can see in the video the question was moving is and completely. Okay. So coming to the next case, it of a kid of six years nearby our area and she had a fall with pain and restriction of movement of elbow. Okay. On inspection, there was no major deformities, but there was a severe tenderness or right humerus. And we sent for an X-ray of right humerus, AP lateral view with elbow. So we shown that there is a spiral fracture of the shaft of humerus. You can see in the fracture, in the X-ray, there is a fracture. Okay. And uh, since there was no need of much reduction, there is no much displacement. Above elbow POP slab were done. Okay, and Muriana sleeve. Rebalancing was done on every week. The immobilization method we used was POP, not a kusha or splint type of immobilization. And every week we were changing the bandage and we were advise the patient to pour Murivanna daily three cups means three teaspoon 15 ml morning and evening over the area and uh, the slab removed after fourth week 
and we change the slab bandage to a normal cora cloth bandage after fourth week then crepe bandage was given for two weeks and the medicine given were laxadi glue gandhalailam only and murivanna for external application so this was the kit after bandage so you can see the callus formation after 3 weeks and after 6 weeks you can see a strong callus formation and healing and uh, the kid was able to move her elbow in all angle of range of motion so this is the final result okay one second since it is a spiral fracture the union is very good and in children even if it heal with some angulation that is acceptable and that will correct by the growth okay and only thing we have to take care is radial nerve injuries okay so coming to the third case is a male of 55 years and he had a fall and uh, he was loading injury loading weight over his head and then uh that cause a dislocation okay and patient with his right shoulder fully abducted the position was like this and from this attitude we can understand that this is a pure attitude of inferior shoulder dislocation and uh, x ray we sent for ap view for inferior shoulder dislocation and you can see the head of humerus lies below the glenoid cavity and here we have to do the reduction method it's t internally in so form traction external rotation then adduction next one is internal rotation this is the tortuous method of reduction in inferior dislocation and afterwards swastika bandhana with murugana is done and arms me is obviously given medicine given were laxadi ugulu gandhara ilam murivanna and mustari marmada shayam twice daily so here you can see of the right shoulder you can see Here, traction is starting to give in. After relaxation, the traction, continuous traction is given with external rotation of the hand. When the traction is sufficient and external rotation is done, it will be adducted. So you can see the external rotation and the adduction is done now. once the adduction is completed the hand has to be do internal rotation so the assistant has to give pressure over the upper aspect of shoulder okay so the internal rotation is to be after external rotation adduction and then internal rotation okay this was the case and after reduction you can see the accurate apposition and rebandaging was done every weekly so the chances in shoulder joint are stiffness in older patients okay so long term immobilization is restricted in these kind of cases 
and the shoulder joint if not reduced by three attempt it should refer for the general anesthesia and reduction and in younger patients three week mobilization can be done and uh, there are more chances of recurrent shoulder dislocation in younger patients so if there are recurrent dislocation if the patient age is very young either you can manage conservatively or you can refer for a surgery now this case was a next one with the anterior shoulder dislocation here also the coaches method is followed you can see traction external rotation adduction and inner rotation will be performed here traction and external rotation on complete external rotation adduction then inner rotation okay and then we have to do swastika vandana for more than 2 weeks next one is a case of posterior shoulder dislocation the accurate training and hand to hand training is a necessary for managing orthopedic cases then only we can do the procedure very accurately okay here also it has to be track give a traction well all dislocation has to bring front and the same method has to be continued so coming to orthopedics bhagna susudha vanghana sarangadaracharya has mentioned the classification and the description we can see in susudha and vanghana all kind of violence injuries and assaults are the causes patana peedana prahara akshepana and here the vyaramagarasana bites are also been mentioned okay basic classification is dislocation fracture sandhi mukta and kanda bhagna sandhi mukta the loss of function pain it is mostly in sandhi mukta than a fracture fracture will be less pain than a dislocation and we can feel the tenderness can the deformity and swelling will be eminent and attitude of the patient will surely to a conclusion of fracture like in neck of femur fracture and shortening of the limb can assess mainly in the lower limb fracture Along with pain, tenderness, loss of function, crepitus or the fracture site, and bony irregularity can be seen. And when you have to refer a case, these are the basic concepts from the textbook. And from each cases, I will tell you which are the condition in each case we have to refer for surgeries. So basically, a compound fracture better to refer. A commuted fracture again highly impacted. and fracture involving joints like trimalleolar back fracture and a fracture of uh, supracondylar fracture and both bone fractures all are near the wrist joints similar conditions are better to refer and especially in vala chadakshina and kushtina swasina these are the indication to as asadhya in our text that means we have to refer okay and fracture with dislocation are very difficult to manage but uh, with a eminent hand sometimes they are managed and skull fractures are not easily manageable with ayurveda and fractures with internal injuries like rib fractures are very easy to manage when there is no internal injuries or when there is no pneumothorax or any emphysema like conditions but we have to make sure before doing the management and uh, fracture with difficulty for cross reduction when the cross reduction is not proper then we have to refer the case 
and if the fracture came to us after one or two weeks with a prior management with somebody quacks or some other doctors if you see it is very improperly managed better to refer and complicated fractures with other neurovascular damages are to be referred and under our malnourished patients are very difficult for with ayurvedic managements and non cooperating patient obviously so what are the fractures they are well responding with ayurvedic management so small nasal bone fractures only with medicine can be managed murivanna piju and uh, our indian medicines like mustadi marmakasha and gandhadailam are sufficient and it will take 3 to 4 weeks and coming to the next clavicular fractures so when it is not a multiple fracture <coughs> not severely displaced fracture we can manage with murivanna bandage and clavicular brace four weeks are needed the later application of med medicines and inland medicines has to be continued <coughs> minimum for six weeks <coughs> you can see the fracture lines here in three images coming to the humerus fractures so head of humerus and neck fractures we have to refer and coming to the shaft fractures upper third and middle third we have to manage with u slab pop slabbing is the best option than splintage or push up for a proper immobilization as per our experience the hanging cast for with the hand slings are good option and sufficient this is case is fracture dislocation which is managed conservatively and in the fourth image you can see a good callus formation okay <coughs> and need of proximal fracture with dislocation with a open reduction in their fixation okay in such cases our aim is send the patient to a proper center where it is then very properly why because most of the time if the surgeon hands are not perfect it may lead to early degeneration and multiple complications so coming to shaft of humerus i have discussed this case this also spiral fractures with no complication with no radial artery radial nerve injuries we can go for management and supra condylar fracture displaced fractures mainly we see in <coughs> children if there is much displacement we have to refer for fixation if they are undisplaced and simple small fracture the fracture is small we can manage with pops otherwise we have to refer better to refer supra condylar fractures and coming to the forearm fractures the both bone fractures undisplaced can be managed through ayurveda in this case we have to give above elbow pop for 3 weeks and later to change 2 weeks of below elbow pop slab if you are using slab instead of a splint it also act with the same purpose it helps in same purpose and we can pour murivanna every every day and we can send the bandage and we can see the improvement complete casting is not needed coming to the colis fracture here the fracture of radius within 2 cm of the wrist 2.5 cm of wrist with or without avulsion of ulnar styloid process in this x ray you can see the avulsion of ulnar process and uh, deformity dinner for deformity of the hand we can obviously see in such cases proper reduction if at all needed we have to do the disimpaction palmar flexion and ulnar deviations are compulsory this also has to be get trained under the best orthopedicians then only one can do the proper colis fracture reduction and after reduction world oh sir sir hello shall i continue 
में स्टेप हो गया मेरा सो द इमोबिलाइजेशन हैज टू बी डन इन फॉर्म ऑफ फ्लेक्शन एंड अलार्म डिविएशन प्रोसेशन एंड बिलो एल बी पीओपी इज सफिशिएंट इन केस टोटल कंट्रोल हम्म Then the casting can be done for five weeks or bandage with same slab or corrat with spin gauge can be done. Okay. So in each change of any each week, we have to make sure that there is minimal mobilization is given to the fracture. Okay. So uh, police fractures can be well managed through our management and proper reduction methods and the. Uh, be discussed at the end of the after the fracture part is completed coming to the scaffold fracture here the most important thing we have to understand that for sending an x ray here it's a different one apart from all other x ray writing here we have to write scaffold view specially okay the common cause for here scaffold fracture is a dorsi flexed hand and the fracture line usually lies in the waist of the scaphoid and what are the major complication it's a avascular necrosis of the proximal pole and second one is non union so we have to take care of these two complication and we have to take repeated x rays okay and here we need we may not need a reduction since there will be no much displacement only proper identification and below elbow plaster is a must here and the position should be should be a cup holding posture the uh, slightly dorsiflex hand palm and thumb is slightly anterior in this posture we have to do the pop okay and it has to be continued for 8 to 10 weeks or up to 12 weeks based on the symptoms or pain and tenderness we have to continue it's a long immobilization must in case of scaphoid fracture management and coming to the metacarpal fractures usually second third and fourth metacarpal fractures are shaft it used to happen in rtas fall or any violence okay and the fifth usually breaks at the neck and we can classify the undisplaced and displaced okay so when there is no displacement there is no need of reduction only immobilization is sufficient when there is displacement we can reduce it if the reduction is not stable we have to send for a k wire fixation okay so in coming to the immobilization what is the specified position if the you can see the uh, position okay it should be like this the wrist at 20 degree extension and fingers are straight with metacarpal phalange joints at 90 degree flexion so the hand should be like this we have to do pop in such a manner and pop has to kept over this place okay and we have to do complete bandage again three weeks are needed and every week we can remove the slab and we can see okay coming to the phalanx fractures what in the fingers and toe same concept when it is undisplaced buddy strapping or murugana bandage is sufficient 2 to 4 weeks based on the level of fracture and we have to give internal medicines when there is displaced displacement is there then we have to try for the reduction and then we have to bandage or in body strapping can be done okay in case of thumb we have to use thumb spiker for the immobilization in all these condition when they are not maintaining the reduced posture we have to send for the k wire fixation okay so coming to the rib fracture here we have to send for at and oblique view the patient usually fall or to a harder object like a table or usually the fishermen when they fall from the uh, board they used to get the rib fractures okay in such cases rib fractures what are the important thing to be noted okay 
when there is less pain and stable patient and there are no major fractures are seen still we have to get a opinion for what there are chances for pleural effusion or pneumothorax that we have to uh, first we have to rule out okay more than doing a bandage or management we have to say we have to keep ourselves safe so that either we can refer or if everything is safe then we can do go for a ayurvedic management in that condition vibantha is the option for bandaging okay vibantha and murivanna application we give a wonderful result in rib fractures okay the duration may be 3 to 6 week duration we have to continue the vibantha bandage and every week we have to change the bandage okay so this is regarding the rib fractures all rib fractures has to be taken extra care to rule out pleural effusion and pneumothorax okay coming to the vertebral fractures cervical fractures are better be better to be referred and on vertebra with very uncomplicated or undisplaced wedge compression fractures like type 1 type 2 with no spinal cord injuries we can go for vibantha banda here we have to keep extra murivanna pad over the dorsal region over the spine then we have to give a tailless bandage tailless brace for 3 weeks okay here also when there is any spinal injuries when there is best fracture complicated fracture then we have to refer the patient for immediate surgeries coming to lumbar vertebral fracture also same concept if it is undisplaced and a safer fracture when there is no spinal injuries we have to go for we can go for swastika banda if there is any displacement immediate surgery need to be done to make sure that the further functional capabilities or the spinal injuries are taken care okay coming to the cochlear fracture this is very uh, interesting and it is very difficult to manage also here we cannot give any bandages or something but we can give murivanna daily installation for uh, 20 to 50 ml daily and we can advise patient to use definite pillows and our internal medicines can be given in cochlear fracture if there is no mass displacement and in the later stage after 6 to 8 weeks we can give for adds for uh, exercises to improve the muscles but still some cochlear fractures some old fractures still haunts the patient very very severely in such cases uh, internal fixation or other management are necessary coming to the pelvis fracture usually pelvis fracture we have to we can refer uh, only two options are there like pubic rame so pinar pubic rame without any displacement small fractures that we can manage with our swastika bandha okay for 4 to 6 week bandage with internal medicine can heal the superior and inferior pubic rame undisplaced fractures okay in case of displaced fracture say immediate call for refer coming to the femur fractures almost all femur fractures we have to refer why because there are chances of complication like fat embolism improper management and it's a better management is there with surgery so neck of femur fracture if the patient is not bedridden we have to send immediately for surgery if the patient is too old and it's completely bedridden and it is little 3 to 3 weeks old and the patient family is not willing for surgery then we can give leg traction and immobilization with purvanna bandage sometimes help the patients apart from that all neck of femur fracture we have to send for surgery either orif or total hip replacement and regarding the shaft of femur the major complication is fat embolism so 
we have to refer the case immediately and supracondylar fracture also must be referred it these kind of fractures are not possible with ayurvedic managements coming to patellar fracture undisplaced and transverse fracture of patella we can give above knee slab or long knee immobilizes for four weeks okay then moriana bandage along with slight flexion and extension this can be managed after four weeks okay then it can be given with medicine in their medicines or else we can refer for tension bandages tension band wire okay if there is multiple fracture of patella remove of patella that means surgical we have to refer the case. but i i i got it on the point okay. fractures most of the leg fractures are surgical both bone fracture leg undisplaced here above knee slab for four weeks then four weeks below knee slab can be done okay then coming to the fibula fracture below knee slab for six weeks with medicines can be done in all these cases we can do with our confident level and our experience and our expertness and our training level otherwise it's better to refer the patient at least we can send for the x ray and we can send the patient to nearest center okay and by manual fractures of the ankle and the uh, ankle joint like the what's uh, malleolar fracture in this case slab for one week then complete casting is needed for seven weeks are necessary in this case if the both distal segments are much displaced surgery is a necessary and all trimalleolar fracture we have to send for surgery so coming Talar fracture. If it is undisplaced, the all fractures we have to make sure it is undisplaced. Six to eight weeks of bandaging, POP slabs are necessary. If it is displaced, we have sent for the surgical management. Okay, cavity fixation, then below knee POP everything is necessary. And calcium fracture also. if it is much displaced we have to send for surgery if undisplaced we have to give below knee pop slab apart from the slab system to medial and lateral splintage and l splintage but the patient complains and better immobilization we found through the pop that's why now we are using pop more than splintages okay and what are the common x ray that we have to send okay so for skull we have to send pns view and uh, clavicle shoulder apv and cephalic view you can see shoulder ap axillary views are commonly used for elbow ap lateral view you have to uh, especially not scaphoid bone scaphoid view is important okay and chest ap and oblique view are commonly taken okay and uh, for the foot ap and oblique view are needed and for ankle ap lateral and mortis view are these are the special views okay coming to the ayurvedic internal medicines so we have many kind of kalpanas from that which are the most useful kalpanas in case of orthopedic management okay so basically kashayam first one is mustadi marma kashayam is most commonly used medicine for all kind of abhigadas and in the later stage dhanvantaram kashayam is also good for orthopedic management fractures and punarnavadi kashayam is usually used more in the initial stages when there is more edema condition we can also use punarnavadi kashayam okay and in the late complication some fractures old fractures 
the usually the bimalleolar or trimalleolar fracture even after open reduction and the injury fixation patient may come to us with heavy swelling of the ankle and in these cases also punarnadi kashayam is a good option to reduce the edema okay and for like all the fractures again vidaryadi kashayam also found much beneficial to improve the strength of the patient coming to yogas we usually use chandra prabha as that is and other yogas are lakshadi mugulu gandha dailam and dhanvandaram 101 are the usual medicines tablets and capsules coming to external application murivanna the most slides are not visible sir sir slides are not visible one second visible sir is it visible there must be some okay i will check my net condition okay fine okay here external application murivanna murivanna is the first and foremost yoga that we are usually using in any kind of orthopedic condition and one more yoga that we can use is a yoga mentioned in susruta madhuga manjista rakta jantana which sadhana ofenam is usually mentioned in the text is the mentioned one but in our practice we used to mix this thing in the chitta yoga and we used to apply over the fractured area or injured area as a thick paste and we will give the bandage okay in this condition we found that this is very much helpful in acute condition or a fresh fracture or fresh injuries like sprains and muscle injuries and even in the late condition also madhuga manjista rakta jantana with tiktare rudam okay so 30 grams each with tiktare rudam 70 ml will be sufficient for a one week bandage and for the next week again the same we can take so two to three weeks of this bandage are very much useful and we are uh, advising our patient to pour murivanna after the bandage three cup uh, caps every day morning and evening so this is the other external application that we used to apply and after after the removal of the slab or the splint or the bandage dhanvandaram dailam balasudha dailam etc are using as external application <coughs> apart from that matra vastis anuvasana vastis having a good action on fractures especially on the lower limb fractures or the spinal fractures all the case of spinal fractures even after the surgical correction when the patient with many uh, difficulties or reduced activity or pain in such conditions matra vastis usually dhanvandaram meguvagam or sadahod vasti for sajaradi meguvagam this kind of vasti matra vasti for continuous like one month or two months we are addressing like a installation 10 ml or 20 ml or even up to 50 ml we are giving to patients and we found that they are working they are giving patient much results coming to churnas basically lakshadi churnam laksha is a major yoga for fractures or orthopedic condition this we can give as a kshira vada in the morning time to drink okay this is the mentioned method we have to give drishti kshira is very difficult to get nowadays so we can advise the patient to take with as a kshira vada okay so we can tell the patient to boil 1 teaspoon of laksha in one glass of milk with three glass of water and we can reduce to a milk level and they can take in the morning similarly asti samhara adi churna also we started uh, giving to patient and for good result in a similar manner we are advising patient to take with milk in the morning time so while concluding the topics daily 
practice and proper training hand to hand training is a necessary in case of management of fracture just understanding or learning the methods of fracture is not sufficient proper hand to hand training is a need from a first teacher for period of time 1 to 2 or 2 to 3 years of training is a must one for learning the fracture management techniques and so what are our possibilities in our clinics identification proper referral with an x ray and proper first line splintage whichever case come to us and we feel there is a fracture we can give a splintage with a uh, usual splints are with bamboo sticks or wooden scale or whichever this a hard or hard material in a uh, lengthy manner in a linear manner we can use as a splint like a, even is a umbrella you can use as a splint or pillows you can use as a splint and after just a small bandage in order to make the immobilization and proper referral these are the first line thing to a doctor who is not practicing orthopedics in his or her day to day activity can do or if you are learning the orthopedic practice you should get a proper training from a trained doctors or experienced doctors and apart from the fracture there are so many areas of orthopedics that we can do best things so from here onwards i am uh, talking regarding the sprains and muscle injuries and soft tissue injuries in such cases when the x ray you would, the commonest thing what we are getting are angle spray when the x ray shows there is no bone injuries you can and the uh, stability is there and you can obviously go for a bandage and immobilization in such cases uh, cases also you can use the madhuga manjishtadi leba and murimanna bandage also okay and proper immobilization if the injury is severe either you can go for a murimanna kora bandage or a proper slab so posterior and slab are usually doing in the angle spray if it is very severe and about that cray bandage can be given similarly soft tissue injuries of knees and knee ligamental injuries are very common nowadays due to weekend players weekend activities so in such cases also acute case we can go for the lepana and bandhana along with the internal medicines so after one week on examination if we found the instability of the knee is there then we have to refer for further otherwise we can refer for a mri and as per the mri reports so hypertense ligaments grade 1 tear this kind of condition we can manage even the grade 2 are possibly managed but in according to the patient need if it's a good sports active person and if we think that it is not possible for us to manage and if the management level needs some intervention then we have to refer or the need of the patient is high then we have to refer for further management otherwise uh, common uh, people grade two ts of anterior crucial ligament or posterior crucial ligaments can be managed conservatively okay similarly the small horizontal ts of meniscal tear also we can manage these are the commonest soft tissue injuries similarly there are injuries of uh, iliotibial band injuries iliotibial band syndromes and uh, peroneal injuries all these kind of injuries soleal muscle injuries these muscle injuries can be managed if identified properly okay so daily practice and siddhi prayogami vaidyasya siddhyam bhavati nityasya tasmat parijayam kurya shastranam grahanam sada apart from here apart from the shastras orthopedic management has to be we have to continue our practice then only we can gain more confidence and we can practice well so by these things i am concluding the session and it is open for the question and answers thank you sir
ഹലോ ഹലോ ഡോക്ടർ ഹലോ യെസ് സർ ആ പ്രവീൺ ഡോക്ടർ സെഷൻ കഴിഞ്ഞു അല്ലേ ഓക്കെ എന്നാ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ആൻസർ സെഷൻ വിളിക്കട്ടെ ഓഫ് കോഴ്സ് ഡിയർ ഡോക്ടർസ് നൗ യു ക്യാൻ ആസ്ക് യുവർ ഡൗട്ട്സ് ആൻഡ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻസ് റിഗാർഡിംഗ് ദ ടോപ്പിക് വൺ ബൈ വൺ പ്ലീസ് Hello, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, madam. Uh, sir, uh, myself, Dr. Ingole. Uh, I want to ask you about uh, some ligament injuries. Ligament injuries? Yeah. Which joint? Knee, knee joint. Uh, what is the grade of injury? Which ligament? Uh, lateral ligament, sir. Lateral? Collateral ligament? Uh, lateral and anterior ligament. Lateral and? Anterior. Anterior crucial ligament. Uh, yes, sir. Okay, so what is the grade of injury, madam? Uh, grade of injury means, uh, it's not actually the fracture, but uh, that there is severe uh, means injury that the patient is uh, means uh, unable to mobilize and uh, pain is severe and all that. so uh, it's based on the age of the patient and need of the patient what is the age and the... age is age is uh, 52 52 okay, so in such cases and female patient uh, it's accidental injury means uh, uh, by accident okay so in such condition if the grade of the anterior crucial ligament is not complete or complete here and the collateral ligament also not complete here and the patient that much we can manage with if the uh, injury is recent we can manage weeks of immobilization with cora bandage and revenna uh, application for the first week can use madhuga manchester rectal jandana lab with thicker grada from second week first we can use murivanna for the bandage and after 3 weeks based on the stability we can advise patient to start sorry sir i am sorry sir you are not audible is it audible now ah uh, yes sir yes, yeah so the initial stage we have to go for bandhana okay yes, so if you are uh, doing with cora cloth the length of the Cloth to be taken is 30 cm in width, 4 meter in length. Okay, so first we apply with Madhuga Manjishtha Rekta Jandana with Tiktaka Gruda Lepa. After application of the Lepa, you can do a gauze roll bandage. After the gauze roll bandage, mm-hmm. apply the cotton of uh, large size and then you can give a four-tailed bandage. Sostika Bandha. for that knee and okay. the bandage has to be changed every week or fifth day based on the season and the patient hmm. and on five days we can keep and every seventh day we have to change okay so after changing from the second week or third week onwards you can start using murivanna alone hmm. and after three weeks you can uh, see the stability and the pain of the patient and if the inflammation is severe you can use lepa after removal of the bandage apply lepa and again you have bandage in the op itself you give lepa like jadamayadi churnam and nagaradi churnams these two churnas are uh, very useful in our uh, orthopedic practice to relieve the pain and the swelling of the area okay and after application of the lepa in the op after removal of the bandage you clean the area and again you give for the bandhana if the pain persist if not you start advise her for a physiotherapeutic exercises we have to increase the strength of hamstrings quadriceps vmo okay this set of muscle has to be strengthened and if the stability is regaining higher exercises can be advised 
and internal medicines can be given like mustali marma kashayam gandha dailam morning and evening 15 ml kashay with gandha dailam capsule one can be given laksadi bugulu uh, bd or one bd can be given before lunch and dinner okay and if the patient can able to take the gridha preparation you can address tikta ka gridha or bugulu tikta gridha in such conditions okay as a one to two teaspoon at that time and uh, uh, this are the initial medicine if the swelling is more we can give chandra prabha or punarnavadi kashayam any of the time morning or evening and dhanvantari kashayam can be opted when the case is a very chronic or old case with more degenerative conditions okay and we have to counsel and educate the patient that our level of management our prognosis is this is like if the patient need only just able to manage her day or her or his day to day activities then we can address our line of management if the patient need heavy physical manners or labors or activities then we have to address for a higher level of treatment if our treatment for 3 to 4 weeks are not giving her or him good result okay hello sir thank you thank you sir hello sir yes madam ha uh, sir there is one patient of scoliosis and he is suffering from degenerative cervical spine disease uh, sir unko na facial twitching hota rehta hai facial muscles mein okay involuntary twitching hota hai he can't control those twitching face ke and sir wo neck jo hai na unka drop ho gaya hai matlab neck forward bend ho gaya hai aur unko seedha neck karne mein na he is having pain and after doing mri there is a diffuse bulge in c4 c5 which shows a mild bilateral foraminal narrowing okay Ah, and uh, sir, uh, also there is a degenerative changes and diffuse bulb in L3, L4, L5. Okay, what is the age of patient? Age is sixty-two years, sir. Sixty-two. Ah. Sir, the allopathy people have advised him for surgery, but I have said no surgery. We will not go for surgery. We will treat with Ayurveda. Okay. Ha. Ah. So, sir, what is your suggestion? Please guide. Uh, so the patient has scoliosis. Yes, scoliosis. What's the condition? Scoliosis is there. Yes. What is the degree of scoliosis? Ah, yes, sir. Hello, madam. Ah, yes, sir. What is the degree of scoliosis? The degree is sir uh, degree specially it is not mentioned but as per the examination उनको neck drop हो गया है and back में भी bulge है थोड़ा सा okay madam no I am asking regarding the physical status of the patient hello sir physical status of the patient हाँ physical status sir neck drop है ना sir वही कह रही हूँ मैं और the neck drop is I am just a neck drop and what you told regarding the scoliosis Scoliosis or mild scoliosis mentioned. Okay, mild scoliosis. Okay. So, what is the reason for neck drop? Sir, neck drop only का वही sir. I am also because sir, it may be because of bilateral foraminal narrowing. No, madam. Bilateral foraminal narrowing. How it will be that much neck drop? Sir, then how it why it might be neck drop maybe? So, I think as per and what is the age of patient? Sixty two years. 62 years so we can give in this case we can consider the case as a pure vaadika case okay yes and we have to give uh, a shiro and madam ratta dushti is also there in what manner yes sir in what manner ratta dushti madam skin pe unko pehle thode boils oils the तो वो अभी मैंने ठीक कर दिया है गाय गिविंग हिम लघु मंजिष्ठा दी काढ़ा ओके ओके एंड मैडम दिस केस आवर आवर एम शुड बी टू रिड्यूस हिज डिफिकल्टीज सो हियर वी कैन गिव पीजू टू द हेड पीजू टू नेक एंड शोल्डर रीजन पिक मुरिवन्ना और धनंद्रन दैलम 
अरे मैं वो अंदर जाएगा फ्रैक्चर पोस्ट हीलिंग ऑफ फ्रैक्चर्स व्हेन देयर इज स्टिफनेस 
and when there is uh, this kind of uh, fracture complications asavarna means that gives for more relaxation to reduce the stiffness and the uh, complications like stiffness and uh, reduced <laughs> Okay, you can use Dhara, and here you can use Nagaraj or Jadamayaj Churma Lepana in rice bran water. That means, wash the water, you boil in the Katori and you put Jadamayaj as per you can give application. Okay, in some cases, you are using a band aid. Urivanna Pichu, both of them in good result to reduce the post immobilization, stiffness, and swelling. And physiotherapy is a must. Gradual physiotherapy is a must. Uh, okay, sir, thank you. Uh, and uh, one more question is uh, what kind of physiotherapy can be done uh, for such um, for improving the flexion of that finger? Sir? Can we use that uh, exercise ball or is that enough? <laughs> Uh, sir, please um, explain uh, which all physiotherapies would be beneficial for to increase Madam, the action of the finger. Finger movements have to be promoted during the POP bandage itself. It is well indicated that movement of the distal joints are necessary to improve the blood circulation. So, simple movement. Okay. Uh, so, uh, pressing the balls and as per the uh, improvement, you can see you can use more tension things for joints. Okay, simple finger movements are needed and the wrist movement has to be uh, promoted. So we have to improve, uh, we have to inform the patient to just. Uh, wrist movements, simple wrist movements can be started in the initial stages. After the improvement, we can address with the system movements can be also in addressed. And uh, let me tell you that after a police fracture, <coughs> one uh, one to two months of all yeah, after six months coming with enough complication, and we have to give. And other the uh, exercises. Okay. Uh, okay, sir. Thank you. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Hello, sir. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hello, thank you, sir, for the wonderful session. Uh, yes, my query was again related to the knee. Uh, a 61 year female patient who's undergone total knee replacement recently. So, uh, the one that you explained uh, in the previous uh, query, like pain management at edema, can we apply uh, to her also? Yes, sir, I can apply. Even after TKR, we have, we have to update the patient for six months of at least proper exercises. Okay, okay. And any basti you would recommend specially for her? If the patient is ambulatory, generally we can think for a bastis. So in the starting, you can think for a vitana basti and you can you end with Juvanjamula basti or Raja Yavana basti. Okay, okay, okay. <coughs> okay. Fine. She is mobilizing right now. Um, yeah, it's okay. You can go for basti. Okay, fine. Uh, can we start with Matra Basti only? You can start with Matra Basti, madam. And uh, if it is uh, respond, responding is very good, then you can think for uh, Kashaya Basti also. Okay, fine. Thank you very much, sir. Okay, madam. Thank you for the wonderful session. Any other queries? Sir, uh, any line of treatment that we can give to a chronic foot drop patient like who has... Uh, chronic foot drop, it's not only purely orthopedics. We have to find out the reasons. 
No, uh, it is a like a spinal injury long back. Uh, or something like we can help in like. Oh, um, one spinal injury had happened, madam. I think I think T T twelve something and L one. Difficult to respond, madam. Very difficult to respond. Of purely Vadika line of management can be tried. Okay, sir. But as the injury is over the spinal region, we cannot able to assure him. Okay. Hello. Yes, madam. Good evening, sir. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Sir, the calcaneus spur, sir. What would you recommend? Calcaneus spur. So. Uh, when the spur formation is severe and we have to take it as vada paitika in vada paitika condition we can start internal medicines and uh, uh, we can start lepanas okay so uh, initial stage we can use manjistadi what we are using um, brahm manjistadi kashayam tablet or um, balapanam nadi kashayam sometimes giving good results with dhanandaram 101 or gandhara ilam in few cases And Chandra Prabha Gulika also here also as anti-inflammatory action we used to give Chandra Prabha widely. And uh, if you feel there is a lot of ajna has to be done, we have to give Chupun Tipaya Ki Gulika or Agni Kumar Sam Gulika. And if there is uh, inflammation is much more severe, you can uh, go for uh, again the small hand the like of medicines. And uh, more than that, Gulika is a quantum tablet for a long term utility also giving good results. Bubilitum quadrum tablet, Manjistadi quadrum tablet, Balabhanar Navadi Kasayam. In some cases, Dhanandaram quadrum. These are the uh, our selection of medicines. And the Gandhi Dailam, as per the need, uh, if the spur is poor, we can also use Varanadi quadrum also. It having Chedana Lekhana quality also. No. So that kind of medicinal use and Gurda preparation like Bubilitum Gurdam and Varanadi Gurdam are. Uh, good for in this condition and what are the gajan gusar sab capsule okay and apart from that ubana ham dhara dhara with pinda dailam and dhanandra dailam okay agni arma ubana ham these are the measure for calcaneus spur and agni garbam as all of you know having a good result and Plantar fascia releasing exercises and the active tendon releasing exercises has to be promoted. And if the vada paitikatta is more, you can also go for siradetha, as mentioned in Susruta, to give the acute result. Am I clear, ma'am? Yes, yes. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Sir, in Lakshadi Gubu, you are saying it has to be given upon call, not in Vyanodan. Eh? Yeah. Lakshadi Gubu tablet, you are suggesting like uh, in other cases, like factory cases, uh, it is upon call, the timing call. I didn't got that word. Sir, tablet, uh, Lakshadi Gubu tablet, it is 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 to be given upon call here or is it Vyanodan call? Eh? Yeah. At the end, I am not getting, madam. Upon call. Ah, uh, it should before food or after food. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Uh, so based on the region of fracture, usually we can give before uh, before lengthening finger we are giving, or in some cases when there is when the after initial stage we can give along with the kashaya also. Along with the kashaya before and. Before a seven a.m. fight like that, before the foot or before the lunch and dinner, likewise you can advise, madam. Okay, sir. And Gandhi tell how many drops? Like you uh, suggest, like four. Capsule is one capsule, BD. Uh, if you are giving the drop, you can give seven to ten drops with milk. Ah, with milk or with kashaya, masa ni bana to the kashaya also you can use. Okay, sir. Thank you.
Any other queries? Good evening, sir. Uh, sir Good evening, uh, how to apply Murivenna bandage? Like first we have to apply oil, then bandage. Yeah, the first, uh, proper positioning of the patient. Then what are the things needed for bandaging? Okay, if you are using Cora cloth or not, two conditions. If yes, Cora cloth, the length of the Cora cloth needed for angle is 15 centimeter for adults, 10 centimeter for kids. If so I am telling the width and the length commonly you can use 4 meter for all bandages. For hip, you can, or for the low back, you can use 6 meter. Okay. So, commonly 4 meter of length and the width is 15 centimeter for adult angle bandage, 10 centimeter for children. So, apply the, uh, find out the proper core length. Keep it rolled and ready and use three gauze rolls, 10 centimeter for kids, 15 centimeter for adults. Okay, so first I am telling over the angle, apply the murivanna over the region and the cover with a layer of gauze so that the cotton irritation towards the surface will be very less. Then after applying the uh, gauze roll, then you take a cotton spread of cotton of large size cotton will be there now almost uh, 20 centimeter or 30 centimeter with cotton roll will be there from that you can take a uh, half inch thickness cotton pad and you can cover the area and you can cover again with a gauze roll then if you are bandaging with murivanna with cora bandage there are two methods either you can leave a tail or you can make a tail at the end roll it and you do bandage in a uh, clockwise manner around the uh, area and cover the area completely then hello madam your voice is not clear madam continue sir i don't know is so uh, after the uh, cora bandage you can address the patient for foot and if it is foot you can address for foot and elevation okay and if you are doing for knee knee has to be kept in a slight flexion manner okay and in the knee you can use 30 centimeter width for knee low back vibantha and for the shoulder size of the core account should be 30 centimeter and 4 meter approximately length Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, hello. Yes, sir. Uh, good, uh, good evening, doctor. Sir. I hope there are no more questions. So, one, one, last question, to... sir. one last question. Sir. Ah, okay, okay. Fine. Sir, uh, can you just uh, tell uh, how can we treat like frozen shoulder patient? Okay. What, madam? Frozen shoulder, frozen shoulder. Frozen shoulder. See if the uh, stiffness is more. And regard, here also we have to consider the need of the patient and age of the patient. Based on that, if the patient is more aged and uh, there is less need and the stiffness is severe, our approach has to be in two manner. Conservative or refer for surgery. Okay. And we have to inform that after surgery also we have to continue all kind of physiotherapy. So our aim, uh, Indian medicines and Agni Karma, we have found very good result with Agni Karma. You, find, you mark the area around the shoulder and do Agni Karma with Shalaga. Okay. And after the Agni Karma, after healing of the wound, and uh, we can start using Muriyana. Okay. Meanwhile, the Indian medicines, what we can give are Dhanundaram Kwadham, Prasaranyadi Kwadham, Varanadi Kwadham with Ganda Dailam or Maharaja Prasarani Thailand capsule as Anubana and Google Manjavalam if there is inflammation, active inflammation is there. If not, no need of Google Manjavalam and uh, before lunch and dinner, 10 gram before lunch and dinner. Varanadi Kwadham 
और गुगल दिखता है मृदा वी कैन यूज एस ए इंडियन मेडिसिन बिफोर लंच एंड डिनर और एट दैट टाइम एंड बेस्ड ऑन द इंफॉर्मेशन वी कैन यूज चंद्रपवा पुनर्नवादी काइंड ऑफ मेडिसिन एंड एक्सटर्नल एप्लीकेशन मुड़ी वा पर्णत गेदी क्षीराज तैलम एंड पुनर्नवादी तैलम दाइक जडामयादि चूर्ण तिल माष शतपुष्प मेधिक दाष शतपुष्प मेधिक यू हव पउडर सपरेटी एंड टेक इन ईक्वल क्वांटिटी इफ देर इज You can use in two manner, either with uh, water, pure water, or you can use with the milk. Based on the water of prathamyatwa, you make a ubanaha paste. You boil the liquid, either water or milk, and you add the powder. You make it a paste. Apply the oil around the shoulder and keep as a ubanaha. This ubanaha also help and advise for good. rehabilitative physiotherapy exercises strengthening of the supraspinatus and rotator cuff are necessary if it doesn't helps if the stiffness is very much inevitable and if our treatments are not responding well then we have to refer for interventional management sir and nastya Ah, Nasya. Sometimes Anudayila starting with Anudayila, and we can proceed to Shiridhara or Dhanandram. Okay, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. So Prasad Nadi can can be given if there is a samavast also. Ah, starting you can add Agni Kumar Rasam or Shraddha Ram or Chukun Dipalyadi to improve the Pajana. Okay. And whatever is there in Prasaranya, the there are all our uh, little balya, the shunti is there. So we can expect uh, little pajana property, and you can add in such condition. You can add gudgul banjavalam. Gudgul banjavalam is given with shunti, the shamola kashaya or shunti kashaya. It's good for water yoga. That we can consider here. Okay. 